I haven't uploaded anything to this YouTube channel in about a month. I thought I would make this video to talk about mental health, men's mental health in particular, hopefully make some sort of change within the world. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So let's talk about where I've been for the last month very briefly. To cut it short, I have been depressed and being depressed is something that I have had in my life for the better part of 15, 17, 18 years. So pretty much most of my life I have had depression in some form. This stems from childhood trauma um, involving things that happened online when I was 12, 13 years old and then from that bullying uh, within school. I'm not going to go into specifics about what happened with regards to that because I've put that to, to bed, I've gone to therapy and I'm now reconciled with that to the point where I know, I know it wasn't my fault, it's not something that I dwell on anymore but the residual depression is still something um, that remains because I believe wholeheartedly that the depression was something that was formed as a coping mechanism so when I feel attacked, when I feel like things aren't going the way they should that i repress into myself and that is essentially the depressed state that i'm in where i i don't look after myself i don't talk to anyone and i become a, a shell of the man that i usually am now this is a very important topic to me depression and mental health i feel like a lot of people i speak to men in particular now obviously women do have these issues but I want to talk specifically about men because I as a male um, and something I'm going to talk to you about afterwards uh, it, it, it's closer to home to me and I want to talk about how it is for me. I think mental health and talking about mental health and talking about how you feel with anyone doesn't matter who it is is vitally important. Now I want to publicly here thank Jay because when I was going through it over the last month or so, Jay instantly noticed. Now we, I've never met Jay in real life. I first joined this channel because, because I was a Stargate fan. I found his videos and then I messaged him just saying, do you want a Discord server? Because I noticed you haven't got a community. And he said, yeah. We then started talking. He then invited me to join Sidetrack now we're here now we're friends a relationship that's been formed essentially through a camera I, I it, it's amazing because he instantly knew that something was wrong now me being me i said no no no, no there's nothing wrong i'm absolutely fine but there was something wrong i was depressed um and there never really needs to be a reason why you're depressed it just happens i say i say there wasn't a reason but it, it was it, it was very it was a in hindsight, it's a very stupid thing to think about. But people, some people on in the comments have basically said, you're not a real sci-fi fan. And then that played on my mind. It was one comment, really, really. It was one comment. I can't remember who made it. But someone said, you're not a real sci-fi fan. That played on my mind. I then started doubting whether I should be on this channel, whether or not I was a, I was a real sci-fi fan, whether or not anything I had to say had any value. And I just started doubting myself, my place on this channel and where I should be. Should I should I quit? Should I leave? Should I should I stay? What should I do? And that that kind of circle of thought wouldn't stop, essentially. So I stopped uploading and I stopped talking to anyone. But fair play to Jay. He messaged me and he knew there was something wrong. We spoke about it and I I did start to feel better feel better about it but it also got me thinking about mental health in general and how fickle some of our minds can be because the littlest comment can often trigger something that to you it's a comment that maybe throw away maybe in, in jest but to someone else that could be the difference between them waking up the next morning or not and I'm not suggesting that Whoever made that comment could have caused the worst thing possible. What I'm what I'm trying to get at is when you're in that mindset, when you have depression, 
the littlest thing can set you off. And that's something we need to talk about as a community, as a society, because at some point it's going to happen and someone is not going to wake up the next morning. Now, this leads me on to a personal story. It was within the last week, the third anniversary of my dad's death. Now, the reason that my dad died was because he had committed suicide. This is something that has messed with my mind. We didn't have the greatest relationship growing up. Um, I didn't see him for a very, very long time. It was only when my daughter was born I reached out and we started forming a relationship again and we started to see each other regularly and we started to build that father-son relationship again. I moved away. I now live in the Midlands, but I'm originally from the south of the UK. But yeah, I got a phone call from my sister just in an evening. I was playing a game. I was probably playing RuneScape. I got a phone call and... The first words I heard were, Dad's dead. And I immediately said, what? And she told me again, Dad's dead. Now, we we thought that perhaps he had accidentally taken um, an overdose on the tablets that he was on for something wrong with his teeth. I don't know what it was. Uh, But it quickly uh, became apparent that he had intentionally taken his life by grinding up the tablets and drinking himself into oblivion so that he didn't feel the pain when he eventually passed and this is something that he would have done because he felt pain in his everyday life he felt i guess that he was alone he probably felt that mistakes he had made in his past had caught up with him perhaps perhaps he felt that there was no one that he could turn to when he was in a dire situation. And this is what I want to talk about. I want people to be able to talk to each other about these kinds of things. And it's something that I need to start doing as well. When you start to feel depressed, when you have any niggling concerns, when you have anything that you think is gonna trigger a panic attack, a mental breakdown, depression, If you start having thoughts of suicide or that you don't belong here or that you don't have any worth in this world, you need to then look at that, realise that that is a problem because that is not a normal way to think. You need to tell someone, tell your partner, tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your best friend, tell literally anyone because that could be the difference between you waking up tomorrow or not. And I've been in the same situation my dad has been in where I have attempted to take my own life. That is the reason why I have this tattoo. This is a semicolon. Um, I I saw a post years and years ago about what the meaning of a semicolon is and why you would have a semicolon as a tattoo. And I thought it was really good and it really spoke to me. So the reason I have the semicolon is because in writing, a semicolon is something that a writer can use to either end a sentence or choose to carry it on. So it's a little bit different to a full stop. You can either end it right there or you can carry on the sentence. And it's a, it's a choice. You can end it or you can carry it on. And that speaks to me in a, in a very profound way. So I got this tattoo as a reminder that I chose to carry on. And I'm not suggesting that you go out and get a, a tattoo as well as a reminder. You You don't have to do that. This is just something that I did. But talking to people, talking to absolutely anyone about what you're going through, I think is vitally important. Now, I'm going to leave some links in the description to some charities. You might want to donate to them. They're going to be men's mental health charities. There's one called Calm that I donate to, which is the Campaign Against Living Miserably, which is a men's mental health charity. You've also got Mind. I'll leave a link to that as well. Um, But there might be a local charity nearer to you that you'd like to donate to. And if you do want to, then feel absolutely free. This video wasn't meant to be, give me all your money, give it to charity and and things like that, because that's secondary. Yes, that would help other people, but you need to help yourself. You need to, you need to look after number one. You need to look after what's up here because you matter.